the story tonight. Not everyone who grows up in New England is a Patriots fan. That's right. In fact, one local principal will root for whatever team is playing against the Patriots. But you couldn't tell that by looking at him today. I would assume supporter Julianne Lima is at Hoyle Elementary School with the details on a friendly wager out in Swansea. The challenge, bring in as many cans of soup as possible for local food pantries. The reward, see the principal all decked out in Patriots gear. And judging by his outfit, it's safe to say the students and staff here at Hoyle Elementary School went above and beyond. Patriots! Let's go, Patriots! Let's go! From the face paint to the flag, Hoyle Elementary School principal Bill Corville appears to be a diehard Patriots fan. But looks can be deceiving. Just ask his students. I think he'll take it off by tomorrow because he hates the Patriots. Like, he's a big Dolphins fan, but definitely not a Patriot fan. I, I know it's killing him for every second he's wearing, wearing everything. You get the idea. But when the school decided to host a canned food drive, Corville wanted to make it interesting, offering up his pride as a prize. The more cans the kids raise for homeless shelters and soup kitchens, the more that I would have to put a hat on, put a shirt on, do a little dance, whatever the case may be. We thought 300, 400 cans might be nice. But by the time the week was done, the 260 elementary schoolers had brought in just about 1,600 cans. We didn't know in our wildest dreams that we would raise that many cans. We talk about connectivity and inclusivity and, and community involvement, and this is the epitome of that, and, and I think it's, it's great, and, and people are going to benefit from Bill's you know, kind, kindness and, and the kids' kindness. The students learning about helping others and about humility. It's just like so amazing seeing him like wear that because like he like he like hates the pictures. Corville certainly a good sport about it. It is very painful, but it's all about the, the kids, the soup. It's all good. The cans will be donated to soup kitchens in Somerset and Seekonk. Reporting in Swansea, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.